feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the anime news for the week of May 25th, 2018. Woo! Yeah, well, we're talking about all sorts of fun stuff, including new anime. Uh, anime called Ueno is Awkward. You've all had that feeling yeah. before. Awkward? I no, I awkward. never feel awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Um, <laughs> so Most of the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Some of the time. Occasionally. Occasionally, yeah. Um, Once. So, yeah. Yes. So, Ueno... Uh, Once in, a day. In Verde, yeah. Exactly. Once a minute for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. uh, it focuses on a junior high school girl named Ueno, who is the president of her school's science club. Oh. Um, and smart she's... Girl. Smart A little awkward. Um, only, only a little, the exactly. Yeah. Comes in awkward. Um, she's a bit of an inventor, uh, but she's not so good with the romance. Good with innovation, but not spur of the moment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how much of a romantic element there's actually going to be in the story. It looks more like Lucky Star, Nichi Joe, that kind of a fun thing. Yotsubato, maybe. Did like Lucky Star. Um, exactly. <laughs> fun sort of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fun, lighthearted. Um, so that looks like a fun one coming. No news on when exactly anime. yet. She looks pretty serious. She looks very serious, <laughs> absolutely. So, but maybe be that's fun. because of the the conundrum of of being awkward. <laughs> exactly. So that's a pretty serious girl right there. Yeah, yeah. that's actually pretty reminds relaxed. me a little bit of um, Power Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. Power yeah, Girls. you're right. Three yeah. girls. Yeah. They each bit. have the different color. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Um, the style of line art. Totally. Um, also, new the anime eyes. coming. The eyes, yeah. 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 Uh, Young Again, oh. Another World. This is a light novel series getting an anime in October, which is always nice to I like see. Like the splash art on that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, so, mm -hmm. main concept here: um, ninety-four-year-old guy. <laughs> exactly. Um, ninety-four-year-old guy in uh, he passes away um, after a long oh. life. Everything's working out for him. Everything's good, but he wakes up. Um, to find a young girl in a tunic um, telling her she's God. He's, he's woken dead. up from being dead? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Hello, God here. And so he um, sends the girl flying with a kick to her face. Um, <laughs> oh, to, I take it he doesn't believe her. Not exactly. Um, I guess not. Only to find out she actually is God. Which oh. is a bit of a sad thing. So, um, <laughs> oops, sorry. <laughs> so he, exactly. Uh, so he basically, um, or she tells him that she needs somebody to just hang out in another dimension for a couple of decades. Just hang out. Exactly. Just whatever. I need you to be fine. Just chill no, here. No powerful, amazing, difficult mission. Nope. Just yeah. chill. Just, just live. Chill. Wow. Just chill. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> He's like, I've lived my life. What's Let, me, get, let me move beyond. <laughs> um, nice. And so she she goes okay I'll give you the I'll, I'll give you an eighteen year old body the body of an eighteen year old not somebody else's body like your oh. body will become eighteen <laughs> become eighteen years old <laughs> yeah still not interested uh, that would have been nice so she gives him a bunch of ludicrously powerful skills hey nope not interested body oh. skill he's got his memory oh my goodness but, and then she says you know new world new and exotic food. It turns out his he's stomach a foodie. Strings. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Way to a man's heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his stomach. <laughs> yep, that seals the deal. So um, suddenly he is, <laughs> as they describe in the um, uh, the description on J Novel Club, uh, the next thing he knows, he's standing in a foreign land, younger, stronger, and more clueless than ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's, what's neat about it is that he is... He has no skin in the game. He is just there to experience whatever he wants to experience. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, no consequences in a sense. Oh, yeah. Um, he's, just, he's just chilling, waiting for God to come back. <laughs> with the powers of oh, Superman. Yeah. <laughs> palette. But, ah. This picture makes me think that there's going to be at least a little bit of that dirty old man in an 18 year old might body. Be, yeah. 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 Might be. To have just the possibly. knowledge that uh, yeah. of, a, of a man who's lived that many years yeah. but then have the body and skill and <laughs> agility they just say, think of the like, changes he could make that uh, he'd never oh I wanted to do this but I never wasted did. on the young yeah, exactly yeah, yeah totally <laughs> totally that would be interesting to see where they take that yeah, yeah. Um, so they are saying it will be coming in October um, I think they said um, no, no news on how long um, but hopefully it will uh, do pretty well. We've got 189 million page views on the web novel. Oh, oh there's a web novel. Pretty good, yeah. That is pretty so good. Inspired by it, yeah. Yep. Um, 
I and uh, Japanese. yeah, it's currently <laughs> on volume on volume seventeen. Wow! So it's, nice. it it That's sounds like good. they have some good material to draw from there. Exactly. Yep. No so. no no drawing pun intended. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to, to, yeah. I mean, what else do you say? Yeah, <laughs> to yeah, draw from. Much. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, we have a second season for "There's No Cure for My Brother Being Around Me." Uh, I just TV love that series. title. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Um, that, uh, so what's funny is that came out in March in China and in April in, in China in, in Tokyo. Yeah. A Chinese. Yeah. Because it's based on a Chinese manga. manga. Yeah. That is really neat. Um, this is last year. Um, that, that, that doesn't happen too often, does it? No. I mean, Chinese yeah. story background. That sounds yeah. like it should be interesting. We're seeing a few more now than we used to. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly which, but I know I've mm. seen a few Chinese stories get adapted into like, Japanese anime. There were a few anime. animations yeah. that yeah. Uh, were being mentioned that looked mm -hmm. really, really exciting, that they were doing a pretty good job. I yeah. wonder if, if uh, the Chinese will start to... Uh, give the Japanese a run for their money with some of the uh, 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 creative stories. Could be, could be. I'm I sure mean, they're uh, a full, fertile ground for all so sorts of history and, and, and their economy is still doing yeah. really strong. Yeah, so. exactly. You know, we've got, uh, we got King's Avatar mm -hmm. recently, which was you know, one of those, this looks like anime. Like, you, you guys, you yeah. guys nailed it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, second season for that, uh, about a girl who has troubles with her brother. Big shock. Um, <laughs> and it uh, looks like just a, a fun, ridiculous sort of uh, comedy. 24 episodes there. Um, so I, I think it's like an O&A wow. style thing. Um, sort of a flash animation sort of style. Mm. Um, so uh, simple, but, you know, no complaints there. Yeah. Um, all right, moving on to Kenichi Sonoda, which some folks here will recognize that name, mm -hmm. uh, who has finally launched his Bean Bandit Kickstarter. Bean Bandit. <laughs> Bean Bandit? So, the character's name is Bean Bandit, which, okay. Um, yeah. Bean Bandit? Which is, uh, mm -hmm, apparently. And uh, basically, uh, he is a driver for hire in Chicago. Um, get you from here to there, no questions asked. No. Exactly. Uh, un un Very unlike exciting. Uber drivers. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. totally. <laughs> um, and so he's been hinting at this for a while. We've covered this a bit on the news recently, that he's been talking about this, and... And um, so mm -hmm. the Kickstarter is to fund a five-minute animation, and then stretch goals will go all the way up to a twenty-minute animation, depending on how much they get. So this this so. hasn't Hopefully like been elected. fleshed out. They're just starting the Kickstarter on this. Uh, so yeah, cor uh, correct. Um, I, I believe he has everything kind of written and planned. I mean, mm -hmm. the Kickstarter has all these folks involved um, that he's already uh, approached, um, uh, working on staff. So Shujiro oh Hakawa, big names, big animator, names. Uh, working on production IG. Um, lots of other folks uh, involved, uh, Shoji Murahama, um, and so it looks like you know they've they've wow. kind of got everything um, prepped for it. And he's already done some fantastic stuff. Oh uh, yeah, uh, 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 that uh, and uh, the line art here on the so it's this is their Kickstarter page. Gorgeous. Yeah, I see a lot is yeah. in Japanese. Uh, mm -hmm. it, are they they're looking to oh, to bootstrap yeah. a whole series or? It looks like just a twenty minute animation, hmm. um, which is I mean. There was a writing bean anime, and it was, I think, a two episode OVA, Gunsmith yeah. Cats OVA, which Gunsmith I think is two Cats. or three. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's been what they've been doing, basically, mm. is just these short animations. So I guess it's going to be a 20 minute animation, mm. or however long they can they can get the money for. Yeah, I guess uh, depending upon popularity. It would be awesome if they went like way over and they were able to actually <laughs> do more with it. So, exactly. so how are they doing now on reaching their uh, goal? So, uh, as of a few minutes ago, they have $117,000 pledged out of 136. Okay. They're 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 fast approaching. Yeah. It. Yep. Um, Twenty two days to go. Twenty two days. That would be that would be That's cool awesome. to donate to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, totally. I, I contributed. I pulled it off the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just search Kickstarter for Bean Bandit, and you will find it there. And uh, Sonoda himself is planning is running it. He is planning to direct it. So yeah. he's you know he's definitely pushing it forward. He, he's been involved in a bunch of stuff. Uh, Samurai Seven mm. and uh, what were some of the others that he? I think those are the other staff members. Was that him? Was that him? Um, he's working on talking to a video. Sonoda has a mm. uh, few other things. I'm trying to remember. Um, cause I know um, uh, he's you know uh, one of those character designers. Folks tend to pull in for things. Bubble Bubble crisis. Gun crisis. That was the first yeah. one. Oh. Gunsmith um, Cats. Mm -hmm, Golf Force. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, nice, nice. kind of got Exaxion, which kind of never Ooh. went anywhere, unfortunately. Ooh. Um, Ooh. but video yeah. games, yeah. Salty oh, Ray, oh, Salty Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Bianca, oh, talking to a video, of course. Mm. I mean, that's that's wow, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sol Bianca. Mm. Some yeah. Interesting that sounds things. familiar, yeah. I, um, 
still Bianca was early 2000s, I think, something like those lines. Oh, okay. It's one of those things. I want to see what comes out of this. I remember seeing yeah. the title, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, good. Uh, the, the, the preliminary sketches, what mm, they, they really have an appeal to them. So totally. So uh, like we were saying, it's always good to see a Kickstarter do well for new anime coming out that is original and that will be its own thing. And the first time we went through this, weren't you saying something about? Uh, that uh, if you pledge a certain amount, you can actually oh, meet the guy. Meet <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> we were talking about so. So if you if you if you pledge two million dollars, you're an angel <laughs> investor, and we will make you the main character. No, pretty much. <laughs> well, that, much. <laughs> that was the thing. Is that so? Um, if you pledge fifteen hundred dollars, um, not, not yeah. by, by comparison, <laughs> uh, you yeah. get to. Watch a pilot of the film with Sonoda and talk with him in person That's at a special so event. Cool. That's yeah. pretty nice. If you pledge pledge about forty five hundred dollars, he will make you a character in the new show. Immortalized. Immortalized as an anime character <laughs> in the story, which is pretty cool. I also actually send you a cut of it, um, so presumably film of the actual wow. thing. Um, from That's one of those so lines. neat. Um, ooh, and an original illustration mail. Wow, he will draw <laughs> art for you. That's nuts. Um, and a fan of, book and everything else. For those of us on a little bit more of a budget, what, what can we do to get <laughs> yeah. a Blu-ray? <laughs> exactly. The Blu-ray was, I think, uh, was that forty bucks or so? Forty bucks. That's reasonable. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm I'm helping the industry get yeah. uh, get another project off the ground. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. And I should point out, um, Riley Vincent like and Minnie Mae Hopkins will be involved. The, the Gunsmith Cats. Mm. Uh, I think Becky from that was also hinted at in the in, in the the thing. So Can't all the main characters in Gunsmith Cat should be involved as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully he hopefully will not use the same plot as the writing bean anime, which was a little controversial. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh. A, little, a, little, a little racy, very racy, very racy. Wow. But uh, we'll stay family friendly here for, for this particular one. Yep. Um, all right, moving on. Um, don't normally talk about streaming news, but uh, Land of the Lustrous was a very remarkable anime series that came out, I think, last thinking. year. I'm thinking of Land of the Lost. That's and different. Yeah. Very, know, very that's different. Land of the Lustrous. This is about gem girls. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Girls who are literally made of various gems and crystals. Yeah, it's hard, hard, hardened. <laughs> exactly, yes. Which means if they get hit by something, they shatter. Um, and it's this very artsy hmm. anime series. Very visually remarkable and all CGI. The things you can do with gems and light, and oh my goodness, yeah. that, that sounds, that sounds um, like it could be amazing. It is a see. brilliant use of brilliant. the medium and of yeah. everything else. Mm. And it was on Amazon's streaming service you had to pay like three bucks a month for. So oh. nobody watched it. Was it a whole series? <laughs> whole wow. series, like 12 episodes. 12 yeah. episodes. Oh. Uh, it's brilliant. It's sad that um, that happened. So exactly. is it available now? So is that's the thing. Is it High Dive announced they picked it up. Um, High Dive is a Crunchyroll style, you know, free streaming paid subscription Ooh. if you want to remove ads. Yeah. Are, they, are they just anime or do they uh, other stuff as well? Um, I think it's all anime. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, so they have. Oh, you gotta write this down. Where's yeah. my pen? Exactly. <laughs> who, who uses a pen these days? Exactly. Um, <laughs> High Dive. High Dive. Has, I'm trying to remember which convention it is. It's the mm. one in Atlantic City. Oh, okay. Uh, um, oh, uh, you know how Crunchyroll... Oh, Atlantic uh, City. I was thinking of... ...sponsor oh. anime conventions? Well, yeah. High Dive is sponsoring... What is the name? Uh, anime, Next. Oh, anime Next. Oh, okay. Anime Next. Yeah. Gotcha. So oh, that's really <laughs> neat. They're sponsoring yeah. the... Wow. So they're going to yeah, have all of like, that... the... the f the swag when you come by the table <laughs> and they'll have the special discounts and yeah, yeah. I, meet I and greet hey staff yeah. <laughs> I think High Dive is one of the licensors now that I think about it I think it's mm -hmm. like ADV or somebody that, that gives me more comfort than High Dive oh. along the, I think something along the, it, it's not just some random service I Good. think well, I give it to somebody I've looked it up and they they have um, they have simul dubs okay yeah, yeah. so right. they must so, be licensing yeah. it for yeah. that, to get that to yeah. fly yeah yeah, <laughs> so it, it's cool, and they've 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 also had some some stuff. And I should also point out uh, the Amazon service that they were on mm. uh, has now been folded into normal Amazon Prime. So if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you just go onto your Prime Video, you watch it, you're done. There's no extra subscription cost. Another reason so why I need Prime. <laughs> mm, exactly, totally. My mom is oh. calling me. <laughs> I'm gonna run into the other room and talk okay. to mom real quick. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, See you later. So exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of streaming, we also have news that. Uh, Crunchyroll added a few things this week, um, including Mind Game, Letter to Momo, Welcome to the Space Show, and Petima Inverted, all well-respected uh, movie, anime movies, uh, as well as mm. the Studio Ghibli documentary, uh, The Kingdom of... Whoops. <laughs> not that. Uh, the Kingdom... Whoa. Not that either. One second, everyone. Uh, the Kingdom of Dreams and Madness. 
which is kind of a weird name for a Ghibli documentary. Yeah. Um, well, it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially as you find out more about these people. Uh, it's kind of a weird place. Uh, mm. And this is all about basically how... Um, so they, they spend about a, um, a year in Studio Ghibli just, you know... Studio Ghibli. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> Ghibli. Very Ghibli. Different. Um, <laughs> and it is Ghibli, by the way, not Ghibli. Mm. Um, so it's basically a documentary while they're making The Wind Rises, I believe. They're starting on The Wind Rises. A documentary? Yeah, it's like an hour long. Um, oh, my goodness. You can spend a lot of time with Miyazaki. I've always wondered that. about him, you know? Uh, so... so does it get into more of his like his personal life and philosophy mm -hmm. and how he works with people? And yeah, exactly. And you can wow. see him him working and his his process of conceptualizing a film. I mean, not in huge detail, but you get to see some of that um, and just kind of what it's like working at Ghibli to an extent. How the magic is the magic, made. You know, and then just you know, yeah. Miyazaki's personality, you know, mm. and kind of his beliefs about things, um, which are remarkable, um, <laughs> but uh, but it's very good. And with with uh, Isao Takahata passing recently, mm. uh, so oh, sadly, yeah. uh, you get to see him as well. He's in the documentary, um, and just oh, see wow. some, them talking about him. So it's very mm. timely for that as well. Mm. So that's that's pretty cool. You also get to see what's kind of interesting is just how hard it is to keep a place like Studio Ghibli running because mm. you have all these animators who need to have work. Oh yeah. yeah! If you're not working on a project, you're not making mm. money, and uh, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do? Anyway? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. finding work for everyone to do that everyone if, that, that Miyazaki and Takahata actually want to do, you know, it's just it's kind of it's a, it's a challenge <laughs> that they um, actually want to do. <laughs> right. Well, and they they reveal that you know when Goro the Goro Miyazaki basically took over directing all these films because the other guys didn't want to, oh. and it was like, well, we need to pay their salaries to keep them working, so we got to keep this ball rolling there's lots of stories know. and somebody has to have a vision but somebody has to actually take it and run with that vision yeah. and uh, <laughs> that's where the work yeah, yeah. the work part is <laughs> exactly so if you're interested in that again lots of cool stuff on Crunchyroll uh, this week Crunchyroll um, and then yes. some uh, poor March and Madchen um, we, we keep coming back to this anime series um, the series that premiered <laughs> earlier this oh I don't have an image for that um, series that premiered earlier this year, I believe, mm. and um, they announced partway through that uh, episodes 11 and 12 weren't done. Oh no, oh no, they're not going to meet deadline. They didn't make their deadline. Oh, in, in, in anime world, that is very dangerous. So, like, they did, um, uh, they essentially aired, um, uh, what do you call it, um, like filler, filler episodes, filler episodes and, and, and recaps. And recaps, and it was, it was all recap. We're going to um, get you up to speed on everything that's happening. It's, it's, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, now it's not coming out until December. Hmm. Episodes 11 and 12. Ooh, Are they waiting for a different season a then, maybe? I don't, but it, it sounds like they, they, oh, we have no other way. projects. I'm sorry. we got to put the this thing on is, the shelf. Or... Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is there's no way they're going to air that on television. It's got to go on their DVD or Blu-ray or something. Mm. Oh, and the problem wow. is um, that means that <laughs> it's just going to be hard to get all this because the third... Fourth, fifth, and sixth volumes have all been delayed as well on the Blu-ray Blu release. Oh my! Oh my! Hopefully yeah. this doesn't crash and burn. I hate to see a project yeah. run into those kind of situations. Mm -hmm. Now they've said they want to improve the animation quality, which more people have said is warranted. Um, it's <laughs> okay. you know yeah. Um, various episodes have issues with the animation, um, so they're gonna gonna do that. Now they have uh, release dates for those, so. Volume 3 was mm. originally going to come out in June, now it's August. Uh, so, uh, volume 4 was July, now it's September. Mm -hmm. And so they're pushing things back oh. quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, volume 6 doesn't come out until January 30th of oh. 2019. Okay. Yeah. Next do, do, year. Do, do you guys feel you could suffer through rough animation for a good story? Or do you think sure. that you have to have everything? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I've, I mean... I've definitely watched stuff with rough animation. <laughs> <laughs> have to be able to really get it has to really grab me because mm. part of the reason why I prefer usually anime versus uh, American animation is because it's beautiful when mm. it's well done so mm. like the, the visual is really important to me yeah but yeah if it does if it's beautiful but crappy story I probably won't pay attention to it yeah. either <laughs> well, I, I, I think if the story is very compelling sometimes for example in, in a manga or any graphic novel sometimes I'll be so wrapped up in the story I will have read past a lot of the illustration and I'll have to go back and look at the illustration right. again <laughs> to catch up on a visual 
things. So I, I'm kind of torn yeah. between the two because sometimes you want the story so you can continue and keep the momentum, but other times, well, you know, without the visual portion of it, okay, it adds so much flavor to it. And so, mm -hmm. so it's it, it's sad to see. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to pull out of the tailspin. Yeah, totally. Yeah, the the anime premiered January 11th. Um, oh. So yeah, that's that's a pretty long delay. Yes. Um, the ninth and tenth episodes were delayed to March uh, to March to improve the animation quality, and then they just oh. kind of said, nope, on the eleventh and twelfth, yeah. uh, till much much longer. So the uh, uh, Crunchyroll has streamed all they have so far, oh. um, oh. and, uh, and it, it, it's out there. And it's sort of a, a harem. It, it's it's a um, not really a harem series, but it's a bunch of cute girls go to an academy, you know, hang out, get naked. Um, you know, basically, wow. yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and no, what was the delay? The first, yeah. uh, 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 no, the first episode has a, a, a an, an extended bathhouse scene, so that's why I say oh, that. It's the a first episode, okay. First, yeah, exactly. You know, so, I, okay, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of anime where they start off with that to get yeah, viewers, and then they yeah. go into a like a real story and not just. Okay, we got you with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was rewatching Chobits, and it was like that. It was like uh, so much fan service, and then it started to kind of drop off after a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get, get into a real story and mm -hmm. groove. And... Yeah. So yeah, so here's hoping uh, Marchen Modchen, however you pronounce that, uh, will kind of pull it all yeah, together and get out there. Name. And it's it's tough too because it's a it's a twelve episode series, mm. so to have. This many yeah. problems with such a small thing mm. oh. in their first season of a, uh, first anime of anything. Somebody didn't tough. whisper yeah. that Scottish plain name. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's all the news for the week. Thank you all very much for joining me, and um, hope to see you again next week. Take care. News, 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 news. Yeah.